Okay, um, starting this video off with some house cleaning. Apparently I've been informed that no, in the previous video I did not in fact complete the Cave of Courage. Uh, in fact I completely missed the end point which was uh, a really long way away from the boss which kind of sucks so looking back here at this map that you can see uh, this red circle that I'm drawing represents the position of the boss that we fought at the previous uh, video and here is where you have to go after defeating the boss to finish the cave that's a long fucking way away. Like, come on, man. Like, I get it. It's an old game. It doesn't, like, it, it doesn't have the benefit of, like, modern game design. But fuck, man. You don't put, you don't put the end of the level miles away from the level boss. Like, come on, man. That's just, that's just, that's just not fair. So, Let's just let's just get this over with and finish this damn cave so we can continue on to the next one. Let's go. Thank God. And just like that, I have officially finished that cave. Awesome. Alright, now let's just pop back to town to sell some shit and buy some new stuff. Okay, so now we're out of the dungeon and we want to buy some new stuff. So what I want to do is... get something called the Madu. Now, the Madu, even though it's classed as a weapon, it's really just a shield with uh, blades on the edge. It's really expensive. Um, it's more than three times the price of the uh, of the, uh, the most powerful shield, which is the bronze shield, which is 700 gold, I think. This thing is 2,500, so... And I'll tell you what it does in a moment. So we want to give one to the main character. And we also want to buy one... Milo. Unfortunately, um, Pyra can't equip the shield. There's very few defensive items in the game that Pyra can equip. Which is kind of a massive shame. Because of, of the three characters, she's the one who needs them the most, I feel. Mm. Right, now we just want to sell our old shield to get some of that cash back. And sell your leather shield. So, what the Modu does, uh, it uh, raises your defense points by an extra two points over the bronze shield. So the bronze shield increases your defense stat by 18 points points. Uh, the Madu increases it by by 20. But that's not all it does. The Madu also uh, increases your um, increases your attack stat by 15 points. That's huge at this stage in the game. So actually I think there are some other bits that I want to sell here. What can we sell? Uh, well, we need the Dwarves key. We need that. Uh, healer fruit might come in handy as an MP saving. Uh, I don't think we need the depoison. We've got two characters. Actually, no, we've only got one character that knows depoison. Uh, no. Just in case that character goes down and we can't cure poison. Let's get rid of the smelling salts. don't really need smelling salts. Characters will wake up automatically if they're put to sleep and 
paralysis is extremely rare. Um, yeah, we'll sell your smelling salts as well, because right now um, inventory space is at a premium and we need every available slot we can get. Nope, that seems good. Two free spots per character. Uh, there is a shield, a special shield, that is available in the deals section right now that Pyra can equip, but it's a little expensive, so we're going to have to leave it here for the moment and come back for it later. Right. Now that we have actually officially finished the Trial of Courage, let's drop by the castle and see what they have to say. That's what I'm doing, King. Do you actually have a name, King, or is your name just King? Are you King King? That would be weird. Ah, oh, the cave of the cave of truth, our next destination. Deceptively hidden in the labyrinths northeast is the cave of truth. Hmm. All but one of my men have abandoned the trials. All but one, you say, eh? So what you're implying is we may run into one more person in there. Thank you very much, Tristan. Theos, what do you have to say? Deceptively hidden, yes, the other guy said that too. The Orb of Truth. I have such a doohickey. Melville, what do you have to say? Two left, two down, two to go. Just realised Melville looks a little bit like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. If Shaggy was a kind of a wizard, I guess. Hmm, kind of how, how I imagined Rincewind from the Discworld series to look. Right, so. Let's drop by the tavern just to see if there's any new characters to talk to. Apparently I've missed a whole bunch of um, unique dialogue in the previous videos because I haven't been visiting the tavern enough. Let's drop by. Have they? Yes, you've already mentioned Lupo. that. Norm's just going to moan again. Don't say that. Vile creatures are probably gnawing his bones by now. Gee, you know, if only your brother knew how much faith you had in him. Nope. No new special dialogue. Oh well. Let's get out of here. So... We now need to make use of our new item, the, ca the uh, Orb of Truth. And I just happen to know where uh, such a place is. Fuck off, oozes. Oh, you know what? I've done it again. I forgot to equip our new uh, shields. S silly me. There we go. See? Oh no, it's... Uh... Yeah, it is going up by 
yeah, see? Increases your defense by 20 points and your attack by 15. This early in the game, that is huge. We will be keeping the Madu equipped for a very long time. It's going to be quite a while before we find anything better. Boom. Fortunately, unfortunately, Pyra will uh, have to make do with no shield. Now, if you notice, this wall is glowing. Once you um, get the Orb of Truth, uh, secret uh, secret uh, passages will be. Um, telegraphed by the fact that the wall they're hidden behind is glowing. So, we go over to our Orb of Truth here, select it, the wall is alive. Alright, secret boss fight, here we go. Now, if I was uh, designing this boss, I would have made the left and right arms uh, separate separate entities. But that's not the case, so it's just one enemy. Uh, bolt. Let's use our shiny new spell again. We only saw it once before. Ten points of damage. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, heal that. Not very difficult. It looked a lot harder than it uh, should have been. So, we've just opened up a shortcut. If I turn, whoops, if I turn left, down this hallway, is where we uh, fought the Kaiser Crab back in the second, the second video, the first boss. So we no longer have to go all the way around that long ass tunnel to get here. So, if I bring up the map, I can show you where we want to go. There we are. Right, so... Whoops. Uh, okay, so... This is where we currently are. The red square is the Grim Wall that we just defeated, and our target... are these steps, so... We're going to make our way. There's a little shortcut here we can take, but uh, doing so will cost us some MP, so I'm hoping to avoid that. Let's go. Oh no, some Hydraxes and some Grim Fowls. Whatever will we do? You know what? Let's, let's save our MP until we get to the dungeon. guys first. Um, mm, nope. Nope. Let's try and save our MP. Because 
Grim Fowls are no longer an issue. Finish him. Right. 100 gold. Butter pittance. We make more than that per fight now. Three minotaurs. So as you've noticed, these are... Uh, these guys, their gimmick is that they can buff themselves. I wonder how long until uh, Milo and Pyro level up again. Hopefully not long. So, to the right there is the, uh, whoops, is the shortcut over the green moss, or slime, or whatever it is that saps our MP, but I want to try and save that, so we're going to go the long way, we're going to go left. Oh, shite. Dark Queens aren't really a threat. Finish them off. going. Uh, okay, new enemy, Toadstool. It might be a new enemy, I can't remember. This guy looks like he might be poison related, so just in case, let's take him out now. Any kind of fungus themed enemy in most games usually has something to do with paralysis or poison. Oh, I found a short sword. I can sell that. Come on, stop resisting. Welcome the sweet embrace of death. Nice. Okay, not far to go now. Actually, take out the toadstool first. No, 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 oh, okay, yeah, I forgot, the Hydraxes, their gimmick is that they can paralyze you. 
not good. No. 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 Oh, thank God. Yeah. No paralysis, please. Not interested. That's a dead end. Go this way. That's a dead end. Stalker. I think the Night Stalker has fire magic, so just get rid of him just in case. Cave of Truth. Here we go. Uh, this one's a little bit more complicated than the previous one. A lot more corners. Also, it introduces something known as the Spinner. More on that later. Talk about those more when we get to them. Sea Stallion. No more kill waves. Sea Stallion's not as friendly as kill wave. Holy shit. Um. Yikes. Sea Stallion is not fucking around. I think Pyra's dead. Well, see if we could at least take him out. Even with the um even with our new defensive item, it still does thirty more than thirty damage to the main character. Holy shit. Well Pyra's dead. That's no good. Um, yeah, those sea stallions are fucked up. Blue snout. What these guys, uh, I don't know what their gimmick is. Their one trick. Okay. A death grin.
Sigh. Finish them off. These guys are worrying me. Um, do we have... No, we don't have level 2 blast yet. Yep, knew it. Sleeping powder. Fucking knew it. <sighs> I think when they flex their muscles, they're actually increasing their, their defense. I think that's what that is. I just love enemies that spam sleeping magic. So much fun to deal with. Okay, there we go. Right. This is the spinner. What this thing does when you step on it, it rotates you. 270 degrees. The reason it does that is because it's trying to um, it's trying to confuse you and get you uh, get you turned around in your head. If you're not paying attention, I can imagine that could be the case. But since we have a map. They're just kind of an annoyance. So, I step on it again. It's pointing us in the direction we actually want to go. But, if I step on it a third time, it spits us out this way. Which has a chest. 50 gold, not even worth it. These bull snouts are not really impressing me. Not much better than their previous incarnations. Oh, but they can heal themselves. Well, I guess that must be their gimmick. Enemies capable of healing themselves, eh? Sweet! Oh wait! I've just remembered something. Oh god, something's just... just come up in my mind. Oh, shit. Pyra 
has the egress spell. And she's dead. And we don't have any re revive items. And I'm not sure we've got any... Uh, angel feathers. Um, do we have any angel feathers? Oh god, no we don't. Oh no! The only ways to get back to town are either die and get transported back to the, uh, the shrine, which takes half your gold, or laboriously trudge back to the entrance of the dungeon. Shit. Should have bought an angel feather before we left. Um, right, well, I was going to leave anyway. So I guess we can call it here, I guess. Uh, you don't need to see me walk back to town. Uh, right, see you next time when we're going to continue on through the Cave of Truth.